Menus in Oxygen Builder have long since been the most lacking aspect of what is otherwise a great WordPress page builder. Although it comes standard with two different menus and a third menu in their composite element set, each of these have major drawbacks that make all three of them a non-option for both my agency clients as well as my own personal projects. Today we'll cover these menus and I'll also share with you how I solved this problem for our agency clients by creating fully custom mega menus using Oxygen Components and Motion Page. So stick around to the end and I'll not only show you the general approach to building a mega menu with motion page, but I'll also share with all of the premise log members, my motion page timeline, as well as all of my oxygen builder short codes. So you can try it out yourself. I'll also be doing a live stream in the near future where I build this mega menu from scratch. So be sure to get subscribed for that. The aptly named menu element is about as lacking as the name might suggest. It integrates with the standard WordPress menus you can build in the appearance tab of your admin panel, but the depth of the customization pretty much ends there. There are definitely standard features you'd expect, such as the ability to change text colors, hover styles, include dropdowns, and so on, but it quickly starts to fall apart when you consider things like mobile behaviors. Like I mentioned, you can add dropdowns to your desktop menus, so you'd want those on mobile as well, right? Well, unfortunately you can't. What happens is that enabling dropdown links on your mobile viewport just dumps all the links out in one giant list with no accordions or even indentation. So it's pretty much unusable for anything more than just a few pages. There are other quirks too, like adding an active color to a menu link won't highlight the parent page if you're on that child page. I'm not gonna belabor these points, but the menu element is not something I'd use, nor do I recommend. Pro menu? I'm not entirely sure about that. The pro menu gives you much more granular control for things like stylings of dropdowns and child links, but it still lacks a lot of the customization that you're used to, such as flex layouts, borders, box shadow, and other styling controls that exist elsewhere in Oxygen. The inability to add custom elements like buttons, videos, images, and icons to your menu means once again, you're stuck with just the default WordPress menu elements, far too lacking for anything more than just a basic brochure site. One upside is that mobile menus do actually have real dropdowns, so that's a small win for the pro element. Combine mobile dropdowns with better styling controls, and it's a clear winner over the menu element, but it's still not good enough to carry the pro moniker. There are further problems with the pro menu, such as the lack of accessibility, which has been an open GitHub issue for years now. I think this alone will make it a non-starter for most people. If you have the composite elements add-on to Oxygen, you'll find another element that is essentially some custom code wrapped together with Oxygen elements called Mega Menu. This essentially gives you what is a button that opens a div that happens to resemble a Mega Menu. This option is totally viable and I've even made a video on this element in the past. It does allow you full customization of your menus, so this is about as good as it gets without totally coding your own menu. That said, the Mega Menu only supports a hover effect, so there's no on-click action, and because it's custom coded, you have to be comfortable with jQuery and JavaScript. Add in the hate towards jQuery for performance reasons, and we're zero for three when it comes to menus and Oxygen. So where does that leave us? Well, there are paid options such as the Oxy Extras Mega Menu component, which is definitely a viable option and lets you build using standard Oxygen elements. This is a great approach if you already have Oxy Extras or if you happen to find value in some of their other add-ons and decide to purchase it. It's still not quite as flexible as you might hope, but it's a totally viable solution when you need zero custom code in the mix. Max Mega Menu is another plugin that offers a free version compatible with Oxygen. The downside to this approach is that you're building the Mega Menu in the WordPress administrator area. You have to add a short code into Oxygen and view your changes on the front end. So this really kills efficiency and productivity. And of course, because it's free, there's naturally limitations. So you might have to find yourself shelling out for the pro version. Not the end of the world, but certainly not ideal when you consider Oxygen's claimed to be the most powerful visual builder. So can Motion Page save the day? Well, to some degree and not without its own set of compromises. If you're not familiar with Motion Page, I've covered it in numerous live streams and videos, but it's essentially a visual way to build GSAP animations directly inside WordPress. It's compatible with every major WordPress builder, and we use it now nearly on every client site that we build. The approach is essentially this, building your mega menu to be individual groups of divs that then Motion Page uses to animate whenever somebody clicks or hovers on your menu links. 
Initially, this approach can be difficult to wrap your brain around as there's a mix of flex layouts along with relative and absolute positioning sprinkled in, but it really is pretty straightforward once you dig in. We need a div to wrap each nav menu link, a second div beneath that which actually contains the contents of your mega menu, and a unique class on each of those divs. We'd then use motion pages play each iteration individually feature to pull off the heavy lifting for us. You can of course make the whole thing even more interactive by incorporating color change, scaling, repeating, and whatever else you find in GSAP and motion page because of course it's built right in. Now, of course, I did mention some trade-offs. So first, if you use a click effect to trigger your motion page mega menu, you have to click that menu link again to close the container. This can, of course, mean overlapping menu containers, which is far from ideal. Secondly, if you use a hover effect, the contents of the mega menu cannot be tabbed into. The main menu links still work, assuming you don't enable the tick box in a motion page that says prevent default actions of this element, so just be mindful of that. Of course, problem number one can be solved by creating a simple close button with some JavaScript, and I'll provide that down in the description to Permaslug members as well. Even despite these trade-offs, this approach is my ideal solution to creating fully custom menus in Oxygen now because you can add anything you want inside of these menu rows, from repeaters to videos and beyond. So which approach is right for you? Considering all of the approaches for menus and Oxygen Builder have their own set of trade-offs, it really is both a matter of personal preference and what's ideal for your use case. For my agency clients, we have been using the motion page approach quite a few times when we need a more complex menu. It doesn't of course have to be just mega menus. Let me know down in the comments below what you think is the right approach, or if you do something differently, I'd love to hear that as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.